Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Um, thanks for clicking on the video, if you have done. Um, yeah, and um, I'm here today, going to continue with the Shed to Workshop uh, project, let's call it. Um, and today I'm very excited because, although it might seem trivial to some people, I am going to make my own drill station. And the reason I say it might seem trivial is because but everyone already has already built one, there's already a hundred videos like out there, but like me, you guys are watching all these videos and going, I really want to try and make one of those, or I wish I could make one of those. Today for me, those dreams, let's call them, uh, come true. Um, so yeah, excited to crack on. A bit of a scrap plywood left from the top of my workbench build. Got myself some plans. Uh, There you go. Uh, basic, simple, not too complicated. I know where I'm going, so it'll be fine. Right, so without further ado, let's crack on. Right then, so first things first, uh, we're just gonna, using the scrap I've got from building the workshop table, I'm um, just gonna see if I've got enough here, basically, so I'll uh, measure the cuts I need and uh, start ripping it on the table saw. Uh, yeah, so I lied guys, the first piece I'm going to be cutting is the back panel, um, which needs to be uh, 76 by 50. Um, after Once we've got that cut, all the other bits should be manageable on the table saw, so we'll start ripping it down then. anyway so that just means the next thing to do is to drill pocket holes till the day I die so yeah let's do it <laughs> holders for the drills are kind of parallel to the to the wall or the back of the, the holder uh, they're not perpendicular like most are 
Uh, that's because I didn't want them to kind of stick out too far and overhang the workbench too much because space is a premium in here. I wanted to kind of keep it like touched back and kind of, you know, as against the wall as possible. So looking back, I would definitely say that this has been pretty simple. Um, it wouldn't be too difficult for most people to do. Could you do it with a drill and a saw? Maybe if you had the patience of a saint, a really steady hand. But obviously, like most things, it's made a lot simpler and easier and quicker uh, by having the right power tools. So thanks for watching the video, if you have done. Um, if you haven't seen my previous video, um, building the workbench, then I'd appreciate it if you go back and give it a watch. It's not the greatest quality, but you get the gist. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much.